Hey everybody. In this one I'm going to be talking about my uh, water station again. Um, this particular video is going to be about adjusting and calibrating the pressure. So, um, pretty safe to say that about everything on this water station is, I'd say, new out of the box. You wouldn't really need to do much with it as far as calibration goes, but the pressure you will have to adjust um, because depending on where you're at, your elevation, that can affect um, what this readout is. So um, I'm going to talk about that in this video. Okay, so we're in the owner's manual um, on 6.4.4. It's page 18, and this is a uh, ambient weather WS2902C weather station. In case you didn't watch my previous video. Um, so here it talks about relative pressure calibration. So before I start on this, um, I can't remember exactly what the pressure on my station was reading at first, um, but it was definitely off. When the the uh, the relative pressure uh, here was showing 30 inches on nearby stations and also the water channel. Um, my station was showing 28 inches because it wasn't calibrated. Um, so, to compare pressure conditions from one loca location to another, meteorologists correct pressure to sea level conditions. Because the air pressure decreases as you rise in altitude, the sea level cor um, corrected pressure, the pressure your location would be at feels located at sea level, is generally higher than your measured pressure. Thus, your absolute pressure may read 28.62 inches, at an altitude of a thousand feet, but the relative pressure is 30 inches. So my my altitude here, I believe, is around 700 feet. I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head. So um, my water station was reading the 20, you know, between 28 and 29 inches when other stations were, were uh, reporting 30. So um, that's something you will have to do with your station. Um, out of the box is you have to you will have to calibrate the relative pressure so I'm going to talk about how to do that so the first thing you have to do is go look at nearby stations um, you can see what their pressure readings are and the thing is uh, as long as the stations are at let's say your your altitude you should be fine as long as they're properly calibrated um, we'll just look at a couple here these are two different stations and they're both reading around 30 you know, 30.06 and uh, 30.01 here's mine 30.05 um, and also you need to pull up of course your local weather conditions on let's say weather.com and you can look at the pressure you see it's it's reading 30.06 in my weather station is reading 30.05 so I'd say it's pretty well calibrated now okay so we come over to the console um, and you can see the relative pressure is showing 30.05 inches but let's say if we needed to change that we needed to calibrate it we would just um, so what you have to do is you have to press and hold set. And you just cycle through until you get to the pressure. It's going to take a little bit. There we are at pressure. And you see it's flashing. You would just increase. Excuse me. Let's press set again. You would know, press set to select it, and then you would just use these buttons here to increase or decrease. And press set. You can see now. Um, we could also calibrate anything else that would be need to be calibrated, but uh, I believe our light is fine. It's, it's actually, um, we're almost near sunset now. Let me just continue going through all this. And there you go. So that's how you would um, adjust the relative pressure so that way it reads correctly. 
So yeah, otherwise this thing's been working great. Um, yeah, really pleased with it. Um, now, I'm sure some of y'all who watched the previous video are going to be like, no, Nick, it's not 12.97 watts per meter square. It's 12.97 watts per square meter. Well, technically, I'd say it's the same thing. Yeah, I said it a little differently in the last video. But, uh, but yeah, the uh, this, this thing's working great. Um, no complaints at all. I did realize um, just how quickly, though, um, the snow would stop it from reading rainfall. <laughs> we had some snow. What was I think a week ago we picked up a dusting of snow and it briefly um, stopped it from reading rainfall but since it was above freezing the snow did eventually melt like an hour or so later and it actually did um, catch up on rainfall but yeah other than that this thing is, I'd say it's, it's, it's been great so anyways I'm, I want to make this follow-up video to talk about how to adjust your relative pressure on these things so that way it would read correctly. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.